Write out the binary place values from right to left. They increase by the power of 2 with each place. So for an 8-bit number, it starts at 1 and doubles each time to 128. This example will convert 91 into binary. Starting from the left, you will see if a place value fits into the deanery number. If it does, we write a 1 and subtract the place value. Otherwise, we will write 0. The place value of 128 does not fit into 91, so we will add a 0 beneath 128. 64 does fit into 91, so we put a 1 below the 64 place value. Now that we've written a 1, we must subtract that place value from the deanery number. 91 take away 64 gives us 27, which is the new value that we will compare to the place values. 32 does not fit inside of 27, so we write a 0 below the 32 place value. 16 does fit inside of 27, so we write a 1 below the 16 place value. We subtract 16 from 27 to make a new deanery number of 11. 8 fits into 11, so we write a 1 below 8. We subtract 8 from 11 to make 3. 4 does not fit into 3, so we write a 0 beneath the 4 place value. 2 fits into 3 and a 1 is written below the 2 place value. 2 is subtracted from 3 to make the new deanery value of 1. 1 fits into 1, so we place a 1 below the 1 place value. Subtracting 1 from 1 makes 0, completing the entire conversion. So 91 is the same as 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Here is another example, converting 44 from deanery into binary. 128 does not fit into 44, so we put a 0. 64 is also too large for 44, so again we put a 0. 32 does fit into 44, so we add a 1 beneath a 32 place value and subtract 32 from 44, giving us 12. 16 does not fit inside of 12, so we put a 0 beneath the 16 place value. 8 does fit inside of 12, so we add a 1 beneath the 8 place value and subtract 8 from 12, giving us 4. 4 fits inside of 4, so we add a 1 beneath a 4 place value and subtract 4 from 4, giving us 0. Now that our deanery number is 0, we can add 0 to the rest of the place values. The final conversion is complete, and 44 is equal to 00101100.